the Eve of Green Ushla, Taw Falcher Riff Cock and you, the no heart special of the show in Old Skull Limley, Kundilimni in Aaron. Hello to everybody, and you are most welcome to our graduation ceremony here today at the University of Limerick on the banks of the River Shannon, Ireland. It is a wonderful day that we have planned for you, and I hope that you, your friends and your family get to enjoy this special time as the university awards you for your endeavour and achievement during the course of your studies with us here at the University of Limerick. Take this time to relax and enjoy and breathe in the significance of your achievement and note that this achievement is something that will always stay with you and that you will be able to reflect back on in years to come as you recount the journey of your time here at the University of Limerick, the times where you put in great effort to achieve your goals, to work with your lecturers and tutors and professional staff in order to realise the dreams that you came to us with on the first day of your journey. I hope that this special occasion for you, your family and your friends is all that it can be at this time and that you will go on to celebrate even when this ceremony is over. Cogordicus live Galair. Graduands, as Provost and Deputy President, it's my great honour to welcome you all to this online conferring ceremony at the University of Limerick. For UL, graduation ceremonies are the highlight of the academic calendar. It's the opportunity to come together to celebrate our students' hard work and perseverance, as well as their academic success. Graduation is a day to be celebrated with your family and friends, to recognise your academic achievements and the end of your studies. We hope that you'll be able to mark this milestone in a special way with your loved ones. For some of you, it will be the start of another journey, either into the workforce as a UL graduate or onto further education, where you'll build upon the educational foundations you received at UL. On behalf of everyone here at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you, and we wish you every success in the next stage of your journey. This year, due to the pandemic, we are graduating the class of 2021 in online ceremonies. We hope you will enjoy this special occasion. The full ceremony will last about 45 minutes. At the end of the ceremony, UL students from the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance will close the event with a spectacular display. Before we begin the formal part of this online ceremony, Professor Shane Kilcummins, the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, will explain to us the significance of the academic dress and the use of the mace at ceremonial events. Hello and welcome to this UL online conferring ceremony. My role today is to say a few words on the significance of the academic robes worn by our academic staff and the graduates. The origins of academic attire date back to the 12th century, when universities were beginning to emerge. At that time, the dress of the scholar, both student and teacher, was that of the monk. The academic gown can be traced back to the Council of Oxford in 1222, where the local bishop decreed that all clergy should wear a closed flowing gown. Both Oxford and Cambridge adopted this practice and continued it even when the clerical attire changed. In 1895, formal standards were agreed for American universities which continue to this day. There, the colour used is indicative of the subject to which the degree pertains. This same uniformity does not apply here in Ireland and you will find it very difficult to identify a pattern or consistency. The hood was originally intended to serve as a cover for the tonsured head of the cleric. 
Caps came to be used later. You will notice that some academics wear caps while others do not, depending on the custom at the university at which the degree was conferred. In medieval times, the mace was a weapon of war and was a heavy staff or club made from metal and was originally used for breaking armour. In 13th century France, the mace was carried up by the monarch's bodyguard and began to acquire a ceremonial function as a symbol of secular power. At a live ceremony, parchments would be presented across the university mace to the graduating students by the president. Today, the UL mace will be placed on the table in front of our president to maintain its significance for use in acknowledging your academic achievement. I hope that you enjoy the ceremony and can celebrate your success with your families at home. Thank you. I now call on Professor Kirsten May, President, to officially start proceedings and to deliver her conferring address. Members of governing authority, members of academic council, parents, partners and families, graduates of the class 2021, colleagues, a meeting of the university is hereby convened for the purpose of conferring academic awards. Exercising the power granted to the University of Limerick by Orachtas Ehren, I hereby confer degrees of the universities on the graduates from the Faculty of Education and Health Sciences. Graduates, welcome, dear Eve. As I begin today, I will offer you the warmest of congratulations on completing this hugely important part of your learning journey. I also decided to begin today by looking at UL from the outside, as somewhat of an island, but that is where I paused, as there is no doubt we are part of a much bigger community, a strong local and international family that helps us to have an outward perspective and helps us to enhance and develop the way we educate our young leaders of tomorrow. We know that the last 17 months have disrupted our lives, our work, our education and research, and indeed our families, kinships and friends. Amid that disruptions, we are emerging from those clutches through research, advances in medicine, but most of all through the solidarity and determination of our communities. Speaking of emerging, today you are completing this, your chosen journey through higher education. For some of you, your steps on this pathway of formal education will end here and you will become competent and dynamic members of the workforce. For others, you will stay on this path of knowledge exchange and take your studies onwards. Nonetheless, and whatever path you have chosen, your success is hard earned, highly valued and above all a credit to you and your entire support network. No one gets to graduate without a great deal of hard work, commitment and some degree of self-sacrifice. Today, we need to thank your tutors who work with such passion and commitment to educate the decision makers of tomorrow. We must thank your parents, guardians and your family who stand behind you, offering the support that cannot be measured. Thank your friends who stand by your side and for just being there. And thank yourself for having the perseverance to see this expedition in the search of knowledge, insights and understanding through to the end. You have shown resilience throughout your journey and at the most challenging time, education has shown to be resilient also. However, we must learn from this pandemic and how change was foisted upon us. We must transform education and we must do it so that it remains resilient and meets the challenges of tomorrow. COVID-19 has served as a reset button. There are opportunities. Key elements of our higher education system needed to become more agile and permeable throughout the human lifespan. Needs to be flexible and adaptable between online, remote and face-to-face -face context. We must learn from the transitions of education and research undergone during the pandemic and build on these. However, any transformation or reimagining of university education has to go hand in glove with the reform of its funding model and an enhancement of its investment into its research infrastructure, capacity and capabilities. 
addressing both the exponential speed in which knowledge and competencies demands evolve, we need to enhance access to education and enable formal and informal learning opportunities re- and upskilling throughout the human life cycle and not just at its beginning. Closing the gap between established educational models and agendas on the one hand and learners and societal needs on the other will not only ensure the global competitiveness of the Irish economy, it is vital for furthering and safeguarding social inclusion and cohesion and for the thriving of our communities. Considerations for the future of education have to focus on growing a sense of interrelatedness between individuals and the community, between the local and the global, and importantly, they have to support the move beyond unsustainable economic growth models and further regenerative approaches to halt climate change and address the planetary health. As I mentioned before, we are part of a local and international community. You have an opportunity to be part of that future of education, both directly and indirectly. Since its foundation, UL has evolved from a regional institution to a national university with growing European and global reach through excellence in research and education. We have you, our alumni, who are the much sought after graduates that industry so desires and engage citizen society needs. Armed with a valuable award, you can help shape the ways of tomorrow, answer the biggest challenges we face and strive to the greater heights we desire. Challenges such as climate change and regenerating the planet and the oceans is going to require the ensemble of sciences, all of them, the advancements of innovative technology, collaboration across disciplines, sectors and nations. Above all, it requires talent with intellectual passion, critical engagement and emotional intelligence, judgment and empathy. You are entering into that world as our ambassadors and we are so proud of you. Graduates, you have prevailed during a unique moment in history and your graduation marks a significant milestone on your personal journey of growth on your quest to fulfill your goals and nurture your aspirations. I hope you will look back fondly on your time at UL in Limerick and as part of a community of scholars. Our post-pandemic societal rejuvenation will be supported by the addition of people like you, bringing your skills, creativity and commitment into the community. We will continue to look for support from all levels of society, from government, from our industry partners and from our communities. We will continue to strive and thrive so that we do compete internationally and continue to explore and exploit the imposed changes for the better. Our higher education institutes protect the value of academic achievements proudly and fiercely by ensuring that our governance of your educational journey reaches the highest international standards. The importance of our sector has been highlighted because of this pandemic. Science and the relevance of education engagement and global research activities is how we overcome adversities such as this current pandemic. Therefore, we continue to stand firm against any dilutions of educational standards to ensure that you can use your degree confidently and proudly in the knowledge that it is an unquestionable statement of ability, academic integrity and attainment. Today, you join a global community of the best alumni from Limerick, people who contribute to and make a difference to the lives of individuals, communities and nations on a daily basis. Cherish the knowledge and truths you have gained, keep adding to it and remember that you are now alumni of this institution. You are inextricably linked and we urge you to stay in touch as you go out into the world for the next exciting chapter of your lives. To finish, I will offer you this. As we look forward to the rest of the year and 2022 with growing optimism, remember this. Patient, determination and hard work will always bring success. And now you are equipped with the skill set and the tools to achieve success and overcome challenges. While we face challenges, we need to be cognizant of our own self-worth, our growth and our potential to achieve. Savor the short-term success but be mindful of your long-term fulfillment and all the while think carefully about your priorities. I will close by wishing you all the very best for your new adventures in the knowledge that when life does become uncertain, you will always find comfort and sustenance from the achievement of your graduation. Feel tall, 
be proud, savor and relish your achievement. Congratulations and well done. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to call on Professor Rachel Metsetfi, Executive Dean, Faculty of Education and Health Sciences, to make her address of welcome and to present the candidates for conferring of undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. As Dean of the Faculty of Education and Health Sciences, I am honoured to welcome you, our new graduates, your families, your friends, and our distinguished guests to this very special graduation ceremony. Welcome also to University of Limerick staff watching today who have been such an important part of your educational journey. Graduates, several years ago, I walked into the concert hall to give you a speech to welcome you to the University of Limerick. For undergraduates, it was four years ago, and for many of you, it was your first time registering for a university programme. I don't know if you remember that day, but I do, I remember it well. The concert hall was very full. You were all sitting in rows looking towards me at the podium. I was nervous because I wanted to speak well. I wanted to give you messages of inspiration and excitement about the learning opportunities you were about to encounter, both academically, socially, and in terms of your engagements with members of our community, through placements, through volunteering. I was nervous because I wasn't sure that I would find the right words on that special day. But I said something about the importance of being able to put your dreams on the table and give yourself the opportunity to realize them. This takes courage. Today, after a long journey, you're beginning to realize those dreams. You are receiving the qualifications that you worked so hard for and you are also realizing the dreams of those who have supported you. When you dare to dream, and when you articulate those dreams, you are putting yourself on the path to achieving them. In that same speech, which seems so long ago now, I also said, and I quote, enjoy these new experiences and keep your friends and family in the loop of how you are feeling. Their support will be invaluable to you over the time that you're with us, because almost every student at some point during their time with us will have struggles. Life will happen too, and there can be glitches on the way. All of this has happened and more, and what we couldn't have known is that a global pandemic was on its way. What a glitch that has been. And you have completed your programmes under the most challenging circumstances that anyone could have imagined. At this point, and on your behalf, I want to pay tribute to and thank the staff of the Faculty of Education and Health Sciences and the University of Limerick. They have gone above and beyond despite their own challenges, working long days, well into the night and over weekends. Much of the work to ensure that programmes could proceed safely has gone on behind the scenes. And I want to thank the unsung heroes of our faculty who have ensured that you could undertake vital laboratory, clinical skills work and placement experiences safely. Despite their own fears, these unsung heroes have ensured that we are able to celebrate your graduation today. I also want to thank publicly your representatives in Student Life and the Postgraduate Students' Union, who have been so tireless in their work with us in order to support students during this time. But graduates, can I say that your parents, your partners, children and friends have been with you on this journey. They have worried about you, listened to you and supported you. And so, when we speak about education and knowledge, we often speak about standing on the shoulders of giants. Some of those giants are with us today. They are our family, our parents, our partners, our children and friends who have supported us in our journey. Today, we thank them as well. Graduates, at this point in the conferring ceremony, it is traditional for your dean to give advice to the class a few wise words to take with you on your journey. And I want to say this, I have confidence in you. 
I have confidence in the education you have received. I have confidence in the resilience, professionalism and compassion for others that you have shown during this time. Have confidence in yourselves and your education. You have demonstrated in spades everything that is required for a successful career and a resilient life. Now I've spoken a lot about challenges so far, but life isn't just about challenges. It's about successes, it's about joy, it's about wonderful moments such as you are experiencing today. And I say to you now, enjoy it, savor this moment, take photographs, remember the pride that we have in you. Remember the confidence that we have in you as you go out to begin the next stage of your lives. We at the University of Limerick are proud of your achievements and to have had the opportunity to support you in your journey. Thank you. Before the names of the graduates are called, I would like to announce the 2021 Teaching Excellence Award winners in the following categories. Teaching Excellence Award team, Dr. Antonio Calderon, Professor Anne McPhail, and Dr. Dylan Scanlon. Excellence Award in the provision of pedagogic support, Dr. Anne-Marie Young. President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be conferred undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. Therefore, I present the candidates and request you to confer the awards upon them. The head of the Department of Nursing and Midwifery, Dr. Pauline Meskel, will now call the candidates in award category and in alphabetical order. Postgraduate Diploma in Infection Prevention and Control Leadership, Margaret Creed, Catherine Estose, Neve Kelly, Sally Ann Lovejoy, Michelle Myatt, Shane O'Gorman, Aidan O'Neill. Postgraduate Diploma in Nursing, Palliative Care, Alma Rose Bellero, Maura Casey, Mary Beth Downs, Bernadette Flav, Jacqueline Healy, Yvonne Kelleher, Sasha Mozzo, Elizabeth Mulligan, Patricia Ryan, Laura Thomas. Postgraduate Diploma in Nursing, Perioperative Care, Jesusa Baltero Cruz, Siobhan Barrett, Shella Marie Cante, Emer Connell, Roisin de Fueta, Emma O'Connell, Marie O'Donovan, Claire Reynolds, Fiona Stack, Blessen Warges, Master of Education in School Leadership, Noel Barry, Anthony Bennett, Martin Brooks, Ashling Ann Byrne, Paul Cahillan, Morris Callanan, Loretta Clabby, Kiron Collins, Matthew Martin Collins, Dermot Connell, Michelle Daly, Katie Doby, Lawrence Duffy, Daniel Farrell, Katrina Fennessy Brennan, Peter Flanagan, Veronica Gallagher, Fiona Graham, Suzanne Gregan, Neve Horton, Jessica Hayden, Olivia Hagerty, Emer Higgins, Claire Kiernan, Mary Lafferty, Rosemary Lawler, 
Margaret Lohan, Karen Marr, Paula Mangan, Brian McArdle, Martina McCarthy, Oshin McGinty, Kira McNamara, Caroline McNamara, Karen Mead, David Maloney, Yvonne Nocton, Dermot O'Brien, Brendan O'Donoghue, Barry O'Rourke, Anna Quilter, Jonathan Reynolds, Deirdre Savage, Ruth Shannon, Elaine Sheridan, Michelle Wolfe, Master of Science in Advanced Healthcare Practice, Heather Nivaraku, Master of Science in Nursing, Deborah Burke, Colette Burke, Hilary Duggan, Donna Hughes, Master of Science in Nursing, Dementia Care, James Connaughton, David Smith, Master of Science in Sports Performance, Mark McNicholas, Master of Education, Una Fleming, Patrick Gleason, Tracy O'Connell, Master of Science, Deirdre Kiley. Dr. Antoinette Flynn, Assistant Dean Academic Affairs, will now call the candidates in each award category and in alphabetical order. Postgraduate Diploma in Nursing, Psychosocial Interventions in Mental Health Care. Emer Allen, Heather Byrne, Lorna Canty, Leanne Clancy, Sabrina Cummins, Edel Devereaux, Barry Dillon, Fiona Griffin, Jessica Harold, Catherine Hayes, Marissa Hayes, Norma Houlihan, Donal Keane, Podrick Kennelly, Peter Laffin, Mary Rose Ling. Patrice Lyons, Kira Madderson, Kira Maguire, Lisa McCarthy, Brendan Joseph McLaughlin, Sinead Moran, Kiran O'Donoghue, Sarah O'Gorman, Aaron O'Halloran, Michael O'Sullivan, Patricia Prendergast, Yvonne Scanlon. Sinead Seymour, Louise Stapleton, Irene Sweeney, Pauline Oogbom, Rory Woods, Postgraduate Diploma in Nursing Respiratory Care, Breda Gochran. Postgraduate Diploma in Perinatal Mental Health, Fiona Breen, Kira Casey, Roisin Clancy, Sheila Cotter, Michelle Dillon, Stephanie Hayes, Ashling Kyo, Yana Lepic, Fiona Lynch, Jessica Maher, Michelle McGelligot, Aoife McHugh, Claire O'Carroll, Idel Maria O'Grady, Barbara Vaughan. I now call upon our newest graduate from the faculty, Ms. Leona Melling, to say a few words to her peers in the graduating class of 2021. Good afternoon, students, professors, tutors, parents, friends, and relatives. My name is Leona Melling and I'm a student from the Masters of Science in Occupational Therapy. 
I'm honoured and proud to address the graduating class of 2021 today. When I think back to September 2019, the beginning of our journey at UL, it seems like a lifetime ago. Personally, in that first week of orientation and adjusting to life in Limerick, I was both nervous and excited about what the next two years held. Those first few months were full of hard work, lots of time spent in the library studying and working on projects and assignments, but they were also full of fun and excitement, from joining clubs and societies, going on nights out, socialising and getting to know our peers. It's funny to think back to that first semester. I remember we would all complain about how long it took to walk from the Health Sciences Building all the way across the Living Bridge to the stables or the library or the gym, which was even further. That walk was especially annoying in the rain and it seemed to always be raining in Limerick. But how lucky were we to have such a big, beautiful campus to enjoy, plus all the facilities that came with it. Little did we know the curveball that would be thrown at us in March 2020. Of course, I'm talking about COVID. We all know that what followed was a very difficult few months in lockdown, trying to study from home and remain focused and engaged in our programmes remotely, all while understandably feeling worried about keeping ourselves, our families and society safe. It was, for the entire UL community, a very uncertain time. However, although this could have been a very lonely and isolating few months, I'm happy to say that my friends and classmates were incredibly supportive of one another. We haven't all been together in person since March 2020, that's over a year, but we've kept in constant contact. We've really stuck together and pulled each other through. Through the last year, the class of 2021 have shown how adaptable and resilient we can be. And these are traits that will stand to us through our future careers. Another cohort of people who helped us to navigate our way through our masters were the team of professors, lecturers, personal academic tutors and FYP supervisors at UL. Also, the team of practice education facilitators and practice educators supporting us to secure and get through hundreds of hours of placement. I think I speak on behalf of the entire class of 2021 when I say thank you for your hard work and commitment to us over the past two years. To our amazing class reps who voluntarily took on the task of representing us and for doing it so well, thank you. I also want to mention our parents, relatives and friends who had a huge part to play in getting us this far. We appreciate your constant support and encouragement and we couldn't have done it without you. And finally, to each of my fellow students, we made it, we did it and I'm so proud of us all. Enjoy your day celebrating with your nearest and dearest at home and here's hoping someday soon we'll be back on this campus celebrating this achievement together. Thank you. I am now pleased to call on Professor Anne Ledworth, Executive Dean, Graduate and Professional Studies, to present the PhD candidates. President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be awarded a doctoral degree by research and thesis. Therefore, I present the candidates to you and request you to confer the awards on them. Each doctoral candidate has successfully undertaken a programme of study and research involving the submission of a thesis and its examination by internal and external examiners. Doctor of Philosophy, Laura Keane. And the title of Laura's thesis is, I think it was just the fear in case I wasn't accepted. Exploring peer mentoring for first year students in higher education. Supervisors, Dr. Raymond Lynch, Professor Marie Parker Jenkins. Maria Kine. And the title of Maria's thesis is Engineering Education Quality Assurance Processes, an exploration of the alignment or combination of the programmatic review and accreditation processes for engineering education programs in Ireland. Supervisors, Professor Marilyn Goose, Dr. Peter Tiernan. Declan McKenna. The title of Declan's thesis is A Critical Interpretive Study of the School Completion Programme, 
rhetoric reality contradictions between policies and practices in one case study school in the northeast of Ireland. Supervisors, Dr. Geraldine Mooney Simi, Dr. Mary Masterson. Caroline O'Neill, and the title of Caroline's thesis is The Use of ICT for Learning in Irish Primary Education, Children, Parent and Teacher Perspectives. Supervisors, Professor Merlin Goose, Professor Marie Parker Jenkins. Terence Toomey, and the title of Terence's thesis is Exploring Perceptions, Tensions and Possibilities of an Integrated Approach to Quality Assurance in Higher Education, a case study in an Institute of Technology in Ireland. Supervisors, Professor Sarah Moore, Professor Patricia Mannix McNamara. Graduates, thank you for watching this online ceremony today, which I hope you enjoyed. On behalf of everyone at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you and wish you all every success in your future career path.